ஸ்ரீமதே ராமானுஜாய நமக ஸ்ரீமத் வரவர முனையே நமக ஸ்ரீ பாலதன்வி குரவே நமக நமஸ்காரம் ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு டே ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஆஃப் அவர் மார்கழி அனுபவம் டுடே ஸ்பாசுரம் இஸ் உருத்தி மகனாய் அண்ட் திஸ் பாசுரம் இஸ் சோ ஸ்பெஷல் பிகாஸ் ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ணாஸ் அவதார ரகசியம் இஸ் ரிவீல்ட் இன் திஸ் பாசுரம் அண்ட் ஆஸ் வி ஹேவ் சீன் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் பாசுரம் Andal and her goshti started singing Mangala Sasanam to Yem Peruman that is wishing him good and that Mangala Sasanam continues in this pasuram the tirunamam that we are going to experience today in this pasuram is neruppenna nindra nedumal it's obviously a tamil word now let's again dissect this into simpler words nerupp means fire endra means like nindra means stand or pose nedu mal means supreme benevolence so in essence it means the emperuman who has supreme benevolence and who stands like a fire by the way why are they comparing with fire as we know fire is one of the panchabhutams time and again it's been referred that emperuman is panchabhutatmakan which means the one who is the panchabhuta itself or who is the indweller of all these panchabhutas as we know it is the space air fire water and earth that we call as panchabhutas in some cases we see in arvars pasuram where they compare yempiruman neerai nilanai tiyai kalai neduvanai tiyai neerai nilanai visumbai kalai like this they compare him with all the five elements and in some cases to some he shows or presents himself with the nature of earth what is the characteristic of earth it is shama that is forbearance shama prithvi samaha is the statement that we often hear anutapam kulhindra aparadikan that is with them he is extremely patient in that case he is called as the sarva sahish in fact he was so patient with ravana and waited to actually annihilate him to some he presents himself with the nature of water we have a series in shri shabdam comparing impiruman and water for which adiyan will provide the link the most important characteristic that we associate is the quality of water to flow downwards similarly emperuman being the superior being being the paratva tattvam he still out of his compassion comes down and flows down to everybody who is below him he happily flows to those who say nisane niraivundrumilen that is foregoing their ego like vidurar but he doesn't go to places where the kings are filled with ego like duryodhana so in this case he is like water and to some he presents himself in the aspect of fire fire for the enemies of his devotees because for shri krishna or for emperuman there are no direct enemies the enemies of his devotees become his enemies as well krishna took birth out of his concern for his ashrita or devotees isn't it he took birth for prahlada similarly let's take the example of devaki and vasudevar because of vasudevar's penance he took birth so looks like he used their fear of fire because vasudeva and devaki had so much fear against kamsa so he used the fire of their fear to ignite kamsa's doom kamsa had accumulated immense sanchita papam and it seems just by having the sight of the terrible form of shri krishna shri krishna is sweet to the eyes of his devotees but for all the enemies he of course has a terrible form just by looking at that form who stood atop him like god of death kamsa in extreme agony fear and distress lost all his karma so he is nirupenna nindravan for enemies of his devotees but at the same time he can be sweetest master for his devotees that is nedu mal nedu shows his supreme mal means benevolence the term mal means epitome of affection emperuman has vyamoham which is hallucinated by affection towards his devotees and that's the reason why he goes about to destroy the enemies of his devotees even in this case where 
Kamsa was annihilated right after that, did Krishna not rush towards his birth mother, Devaki? Senganmal un adiyark yensevan yenre irithini, says Periyatiruvandadi Pasuram. Emperuman, out of his vyamoham, out of his affection towards all these jivatmas, he gives us karna kalebaram, he gave us vedam, he gave us shastra, he, he is also coming and taking avataram, he gave us acharya and he just keeps giving, 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 giving to us because of his affection. Even in the case of Draupadi, when she called Govinda, he felt he couldn't rush at that moment. And so he felt indebted to her until the very end of Sri Krishna Avatara. So how can Yempiruman be both as fire to the enemies and also at the same time be kind? Is it even possible? Let's take an example of a lioness. The lioness can actually hunt and also feed her cubs at the same time, isn't it? Likewise, Yempiruman can hunt the enemies of his devotees and at the same time nurture and nourish his devotees. That's why Sri Krishna lights up Devaki's tummy with joy but at the same time can set Kamsas and alike Asuras and Rakshasas tummy ablaze with agony. Let's keep singing the glory of Nirippan and Indra Nirimal. See you all tomorrow with the next Thirunamam. Until then, Dhanyasmi Srimate Ramanujaya Namaha. Boruti maganai volite valara tarikila nagi tanting ni nainda tarikila nagi tanting ni nainda karte pirai pete kanjan bayi tinil. Kadrtai pirai pitta kanjan vayi trinil Nadu pendra nindra nadu male unnai Adithit vandom parai taradhi agil Nadu pendra nindra nadu male unnai Adithit vandom Parai taradi agil tirta kasalvamum sevagamum yapadi tirta kasalvamum sevagamum yapadi varthamum tind varthamum tind varthamum tind magendeloyam bava. Terima kasih.